All right, today is 2008 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited. We're gonna show you the Roadmaster Stoplight Brake Switch Kit, part number RM-751452. All right, to start off our install, we need to remove the lower plastic cover below the steering column. This panel right here, basically pull down on the bottom here and it pops loose, pull it back and it comes away. That'll give us more access back here by the brake switch. Now, next we need to get access to a bolt that's just to the right of our brake switch. This is the brake switch right here. If we look over in this direction here, behind here is a bolt. It's kind of hard to see, but it's there. We'll use an eight millimeter socket to remove the bolt. All right, this is our bracket for a switch. It's custom made for the vehicle. We'll take the existing bolt, put it right through here, and reinstall the bolt. Make sure this angle is facing towards the outside on the driver's side. This will fit around the brake switch here, and then this hole should line up with the brake pedal. We'll snug it up first, make some adjustments to our bracket, and then tighten it down for good. All right, see the hole in our bracket should line up for pedal right here, so it looks like we're in good shape. Let's go ahead and add the brake switch. To get a brake switch ready, we need to go ahead and remove this nut and the star washer. We'll go ahead and put it this way towards the brake pedal through our bracket. Then we'll go ahead and put the star washer and nut back into place. Okay, now we kind of got loosely installed here. It definitely helps to have an extra hand or foot push on the brake pedal while you put the star washer and nut on the other side of a plunger for a switch. Basically, you just wanna look underneath here and adjust your switch in or out as needed to make sure it's fully depressed when the brake pedal is not being pushed. When we push the pedal down, you can see how the white plunger is exposed and now activate the switch. Also, you wanna double check to make sure that the switch is not pushing on a brake pedal by itself and turning on the rear brake lights when it doesn't need to. All right, once you have it in place, we'll go ahead and snug it down using a 9 16 wrench and 11 16 wrench. All right, let's go ahead and hook up some wires. First, we're gonna work for a green wire. Remember, this will go out to our indicator light on your supplemental braking system. So we'll strip the wire back and use the provided buck connector. So we'll connect this one end to one of the wires to the switch. The switch doesn't care which wire you use. Now our next wire is our power that goes up to our battery. We're actually gonna run that through a firewall from the outside to the inside first. Now to run a wire through here, there's a little uh, spot right here in the firewall. Sometimes it has a rubber bushing in there. In this case, this one doesn't have it, but it has a thin film in there. Using a a knife or maybe even a screwdriver poke a slit through there. You can open it up and run your wires through. Now since this is eventually going to be upgraded to a supplementary braking system, we're going to go ahead and make the hole a little bit bigger than what it needs to be for just one wire. Now it's a good idea to go ahead and do a test run of your wire, see if you have enough length for it. In this case we're a little bit short. So you may have to use some extra wire to go ahead and lengthen it. So we'll use uh, one of the buck connectors that come with the kit. We'll just add it on. And using a piece of regular primary wire, doesn't even have to be very big. Yeah, 16, 14, 18 gauge will work. Not much current going through. We just really just need a signal. Since this will be somewhat outside, we'll go ahead and protect this with some electrical tape as well. We'll go ahead and run it through our opening. Pull some of the slack through. And then let's run this end with our fuse holder. This whole assembly is a fuse holder. These old, old style glass fuses. And we'll go ahead and file our wire harness going across to our battery. 
Okay, we'll eventually hook this up to pods inside of our battery. We'll go ahead and put on the supplied ring terminal, but we'll leave it loose for now. We'll make this our very last connection to the battery. All right, we'll go ahead and add some electrical tape to this as well. That can sit there for now. Let's go make our other connection at the brake switch. We'll go ahead and add a butt connector to it first. You may have to cut some excess wire off as well. And we'll add this to the remaining wire on our brake switch. Let's go back to our battery connection. Go ahead and loosen up the nut here for this post and we'll connect our wire to it. This is on the positive side of the battery. And we'll test it with a test light on our green wire. We'll take our tester, we'll clamp it to the ground on the side here, we'll probe the wire, and push the brake pedal. Okay, so our test light is basically replacing, for now, our indicator light from our supplemental braking system. This signal could be sent up to a light that's inside the vehicle, or maybe to a monitor cable that's ran up to the RV. Everything works, we'll take a moment to bundle up our wires, make sure it's safe and secure and out of the way. This is ready for its upgrade to a supplemental braking system at a later date. All right, and with that, that'll finish it for the Roadmaster Stoplight Switch Kit, part number RM-751452 on our 2008 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited.